the Majestic Spa Francorchamps, home of the Belgian Grand Prix, and for the second time in the FIA WEC Super Season, it is also our race venue. Round seven, the penultimate round of the championship. We are heading fast to the conclusion of the longest, most tricky of all endurance racing seasons that finishes not one, but two races from now with the 24 hours of Le Mans for the second time this year. And a chilly morning in the Belgian Ardennes after overnight snow had cleared. The car's coming to a sunny, dry track, but in single digit temperatures, the forecast not that benevolent, but you wouldn't know it to look at the pictures of the start unless it had a thermometer. We have started a formation lap for the six hours of spa. ahead of the battles between SMP and Rebellion Racing. The LMP2 class, the leaders were mugged, the points leaders were mugged at the start. But Guido van der Garde for Racing Team Netherlands making fantastic inroads into the field with a super brave opening lap. In the GTE Pro and AM classes, much jockeying for position in the early going. Ferrari and Porsche at the tail of the field after qualifying, trying to find some race day pace. The first 20 minutes were dry and highly competitive. Then rain turned very quickly into heavy snow. The first safety car for snow in an FIA World Championship, surely. It snowed heavily and then cleared into rain. By the time we went green again, the sun was shining. Number seven Toyota still led ahead of the number eight car, but the rest of the planet was in all sorts of disarray with GT and LMP2 cars firmly up in the top half dozen. As things continue to dry, Various different marks found themselves at the front. BMW briefly resurgent, then Porsche and Ferrari came after being seventh to 10th in qualifying to be the strongest cars on the drying track. A mistake from Mike Conway gave the lead away to the number eight Toyota. And that was then to come back shortly afterwards. In the LMP2 class, contact from the number 37, Jackie Chankar, Jordan King, putting the number four by Collis car off into the barriers. He then served a penalty for that. Into the pit lane came the number seven car from behind the resultant safety car. Battle between LMP2 leader and recovering overall leader, Stoffel van Dorn not only dealing with snow in his very first, uh, first ever uh, stint in a sports car, but also having the race lead until Mike Conway caught him and passed him. Trouble then, as Fritz van Aerd nudged Nicky Team's Aston into the barriers. He would serve a penalty for that. Aston recovering, taking the lead in the GT class from Porsche at around the two and a half hour mark and easing away as Porsche's tyre strategy started to play out against them. In the AM class, the 98 Aston lost out to the Project One Porsche, and the AM class being led by the clear water for racing of Ferrari car number 61. The battle between the Toyotas appears to have ended halfway through the race, number seven in the garage, losing four laps. Lead battle in LMP2 with the championship top two battling at the front of the field. Once more, the return of hail and snow heralding a change from slicks back onto wets and another change in the balance of power. The Aston Martin losing the lead as Porsche came back in the ascendancy in the pro and am classes. Two-thirds race distance, and it was starting to dry again. Once more, Ferrari seemed to have plenty of grip, at least until the snow and the hell arrived and scrambled the safety car yet another time. Shuffling the field around as we went green once more. Close battles in GTE Am and in the Pro Class, and in the LMP2 category as well. 
Giancarlo Fisichella getting nudged out of the way by the Pro 92 Porsche as he battled for second. And as ice and snow return again, more safety car periods. Light levels plunged, grit levels disappeared, and then it all stopped. The sun came back out and the track would dry once more, again changing the power balance. And the red flag is out. And that means at the end of the last lap, Dempsey Proton won in GTE Am. Aston Martin win. Maxime Martin will claim victory here at home. Dragon Speed's Pastor Maldonado wins in LMP2. And Toyota won overall. Fernando Alonso claimed his first ever sports car race win at the Spa Six Hours 2018. Toyota World Champions. It's a very important result and uh, now we head to Le Mans and uh, yeah, we still finish Le Mans uh, in a good way. So still we need to keep pushing. They extend their overall driver's title lead and they head to the season finale it is the 24 hours of Le Mans 2019. I can't begin to imagine how much drama waits in store at the Circuit de la Sarthe.